Good evening, YouTube viewers. This is 11:41 on a Saturday night, 9/24/2011, and today I will show you how to create a ringtone for your iPhone. Okay? Now this is guaranteed to work, or if it doesn't work, then you did something wrong. You need iTunes, a PC, or a Mac. That's all you need, and some music, of course. So I just dragged the song to my music list. What you need to do is find a song in your playlist, drag it to your music, your your music library. I have more songs in this. I just don't put them in my music list. I use Windows Media Player, and these were songs that I, re I was just playing with in iTunes. But you drag a song to your music list in iTunes, then you right-click on the song. Actually, I'll play the song. And of course, there's a minute and 42 seconds left on it. But for the uh, ringtone sake, you don't want to have a whole minute long ringtone. It might not even run the whole minute long. I think it'll only run 30 seconds by default because that's just the way the iPhone is. Now, if you want a ringtone, what you do is right click on that song, get info. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm already on the options tab. Click on the options tab, select the start. So let's just say I want it to start from the beginning and end at, let's just say, 30 seconds. Actually, let's have it start from 20. But remember, it can be only be a maximum of 30 seconds. Uh, let's see. Have it start from 20 seconds to 30. And these check marks are determine where you want it to start and where you want it to stop. So I'm just going to hit that, click OK. OK, now I'm going to play the song. You see how it started in the middle? And then it'll loop. You'll hear it loop. Okay, uh, went straight to the other song. Make sure I don't get copyright though. But it's only 20 seconds long. I'm going to click on it again just to show you guys. Yeah, see how it starts off in 22 seconds? Okay, um, it was supposed to loop, but it went to the next song. But after you do that, you click on Create AEC version of that song you just shortened. Now this is all reversible. You can unshorten that song by dechecking those check marks, un unchecking those check marks. Okay, AAC version is complete. You'll hear the uh, the the tritone sound when it's complete, and um, then you right-click on it and click. Oh, sorry about this. You right-click on that AAC version that you just created. Then you go to Show Windows Explorer. Then you right click on that and um, what you could do is go to folder options and make sure it shows the extension because you have to change the extension. Change it from a .m4a to a .m4r ringtone. Change it yes. Now it changes into a ringtone. You drag it into your iPhone. You go to your settings. Listen to it and it's going to be a ringtone because it'll be in your settings by default because it's a .m4r that's a media for I guess that's what it means R ringtone so that's how you create a ringtone just drag it straight to your mute drag it straight to your iPod and by default it will go straight to your ringtones there's no uh, you know just drag it to your iPhone and let the software do the rest so that's how you create a ringtone using iTunes uh, for your iPhone if you have any questions Drop me a line, leave some comments. If you like the video, like the video, click like, and uh, stay tuned for any of my new videos coming up, which includes my computer build. I'm going to say that in every video.